What are elements in Canva? How do you add them? How do you edit them? How do you use them to create stunning design? In this video, we're going to learn all about the basics of elements in Canva. If you're a small business owner, a content creator, or just want to jazz up your social media posts, you can do it all with Canva. Hey friends, welcome to my channel. I've been using Canva for almost nine years and now I use it daily for my business. My channel is dedicated to teaching more people all the amazing things that you can do with Canva. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every week when I release a new tutorial. So elements in Canva are the graphics, photos, videos, and audio that you can add to your designs. And Canva has a truly phenomenal library of elements, everything from lines and shapes to music. There are literally millions of possibilities that you can do with Canva elements. So I selected a blank desktop wallpaper because it gives a good size artboard that will make it easier for you to see and follow this tutorial. And the first thing you want to do is give your design a specific name. You will find that as your number of designs grows, it will really help you keep things organized and enable you to know from the title what the design is. So to name it, you just go to this box here, type in whatever you wanna name it, click out of it. To get to the elements library in Canva, click on the elements tab in the left sidebar. So once the elements menu opens, you can scroll down through and see the different categories of elements that they have. If you want to see what's in a category, just click see all and that category will open. And in some cases like this one, it gives you even more categories. You can click on see all again and that menu will open and see how many there are available to you. Just a huge library. Click this arrow or you can click on the elements tab and it'll bring you back to the main elements menu. And there are multiple ways to find whatever element you're looking for. The other thing that you can do is if you look at these tabs here at the top of the menu, you can click on the arrows and scroll through these tabs, click on a tab, and then that opens the menu for that tab. To get back to the main elements menu, click the X or click the main elements bar. The fastest and easiest way to find a specific element is the search bar. If you know what you're looking for, type it in and click enter and it brings up the menu of those specific items and you scroll through until you find what you like. And I like this one. So all you do is click on it and you'll see that it adds it to your artboard, but it did not fill in the whole artboard or set the graphic as the background. Quick and easy to fix while you have the graphic selected, right click, scroll down and click set image as background. Now that image fills your artboard and that's your background. So again, to get back to your main elements menu, click on the X and now we're going to look for elements to add to our background. Um, here's one that I've recently used. All you do is left click on it and it automatically adds it to your artboard. You can see that the cloud that we selected, it does not add it exactly where you want it and it's not the size that I would want. To resize it, I would simply grab one of the white circles on the corner corner of the box. You can pull it out to make it bigger, drag it in to make it smaller, and once you get it where you want it, drop the circle. Now to move your graphic, you want to left click and hold, pick it up, and then you can drag and drop it wherever you want. Now you can see that I actually drug the cloud graphic off the side of the artboard. Only what is on the artboard is what will show in the design. And then say you want to add some more clouds. Super easy. All you do is just click on your graphic, click Control D for duplicate, and then drag and drop it where you want it. You can also select the graphic, hit Control C, and then hit Control V, and that will also duplicate the graphic. Now, if you want to change the direction or the tilt of the graphic, you simply grab this circle with the arrows on it and drag your mouse 
And so once you get it to where you want it, you can just let go of the mouse and drop it. And then you can also drag and drop it again wherever you want it. So you can see I added multiple graphics to one design. You can add as many graphics as you want to a design and you can place them wherever you want just by clicking on the graphic and dragging and dropping. Now another really great fun thing that you can do with elements is animate them. To animate an element, all you do is highlight the graphic and go to the animate button. And when the animate menu opens, you pick which animation you want for your graphic. For the next one, we can highlight the box. So we'll choose this one again. But then if you notice, you get the three little bars on the breathe button. Click those and you can change the scale of the way that the animation works or you can change the direction. And so then you have one more cloud that you want to animate. Click the breathe button. You have all three clouds animated. And if you want to see what they look like, if you come to the top bar, click on this button, it will show you your design. And you can see it again just by clicking that button. And then to go back to your original design, click close in the top left corner. If you're finding this video helpful, be sure to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new weekly tutorial. Another element that you can add to your designs are videos. Now you can look and see that there are all kinds of videos and they are also categorized like the graphics. And so you can pick the category and then click see all and then all of them will be related to that category. And if you wanted to add the video, just left click and it adds it to your artboard. You see that it did not fill up the artboard like the first background. If you wanted to make this your background, all you would have to do is make sure it is selected, right click, scroll down, replace background. And then that makes your background the video. Okay, so now that you have made the video the background and you want to see what this looks like, you can again click this button and it will show you your video with your designs in it. And to go back, you can click close. If you decided that you wanted to keep the rain video as your background, but get rid of these trees, very easy to do. Just click on it. You can select this trash can. You can right click and select delete, or you can hit the delete button on your keyboard and it takes it away very quick. Hit that trash can and it's gone. You can click the undo button and that takes it back off of the background and then just delete and then you have your original design back. We've learned a lot of the basics of the elements in Canva, but the most important one is the uploads button. And if you go to your left sidebar and click on uploads, this will open your uploads menu. You can upload your own graphics and use in your designs. If you have a logo that you use, you can upload it and create designs in Canva with it. All you do, once your menu opens, click the Upload Media button, upload the files on your computer or your phone, whatever device you're using, find the graphic that you want to use and click on it. Notice that how the bar is filling up there. Now your graphic is in Canva and all you do to add it to your design is click on it. And just like with all of the other elements, you resize it the same way, put it where you want it the same way, tilt it the same way, and there you have it. Now, this graphic is in Canva permanently unless you delete it. And every time you want to use it, all you have to do is go to uploads. Your menu will open and all of the graphics that you have uploaded will be in this menu. Another easy way to do this is simply drag and drop your graphic into Canva. Once it's uploaded, click on it and it will add to your design. Then when you're ready to download your, click on the share button, click on download. Now, because we have the clouds animated in this design, it's gonna download as an MP4 video. That will keep the animation in the design. So when you upload it wherever you want to upload it as a video, it will show the clouds moving. You can select the down arrow and download it as one of the other files. But if you do 
downloaded as a JPEG or a PNG, you'll see this warning here. Just a heads up, videos, audio, and animations won't play when exported as this file type. And what that means is it'll just be a simple flat graphic. So we're going to download it as the MP4 video. Click download and you can watch as your bar fills up here. The MP4 videos do take a bit longer to download than regular JPEGs or PNGs. Once it's downloaded, it will open the download file on your computer or whatever system you're downloading to and all you do is click save and now it's on your computer or your device and it's ready to be uploaded. Now you know the basics of working with elements in Canva and if you're a brand new Canva user be sure to download my quick start guide to using Canva and you'll find a link to that in the description below. Also be sure to grab your 30-day trial Canva Pro for free. That's also in the description below. If you have any questions or comments please don't hesitate to post them and I'll get back to you just as quickly as I can. I'll be back next week with another tutorial. So be sure to hit subscribe and that notification bell so you'll be notified every week. I hope you enjoy your Canva and have a great week.